California Speedway in Southern California to uh, show you guys how to do a pan shot. gonna freeze the action but blur the background so what you do is you're gonna be panning your camera along with the moving object which in this case is gonna be a race car the lazy man's way of doing it is if you were to just crank up your shutter speed really fast take a shot and freeze all the motion so the background the subject the vehicle it'll all look really sharp um, but to take it a step further than that what's a lot more challenging is to freeze the motion of the vehicle but not the background okay so you're gonna pan your shot with the motion of the vehicle And at 1 100th, or if you're still getting blurry images, maybe take it to 1 1 25th of a second. Uh, either way, have that as your starting point and work from there. If, if you're finding that it's way too difficult to get a sharp image, speed up your shutter. You know, it's not a problem. Get, go ahead and just speed it up just so that you can learn. And then from there, slow it down. You know, and the slower you get, the more dramatic of a blur you're going to get in the background. It's a great shot, it's worth getting to know. The next tip I have for you is gonna be with focus. So there's a couple different ways you could do it. You can use your active track focusing, um, or you could use single spot focus, or you could use manual focus. If you're gonna use manual focus, you need to first find a frame of reference. Watch the cars going by, see where they are passing through, and find an object that is in the same field of view as your subject. Lock onto that and just stay right there and take all your shots. You need to constantly peek to make sure you're still in focus when using this method, but it is probably the best way to do it so that you can worry more about your timing and your pan and not the focus. So um, ultimately what I'm getting at is the simpler you can make it on yourself, the easier it's going to be starting out. So. Give it a few tries. Uh, sometimes, I mean, I even recommend a slower object, like uh, you got somebody riding by on a skateboard or a bicycle or a slow moving vehicle is a great thing to start with just to get an idea of how it works. You're gonna need a steady hand and uh, you're gonna have to remain focused to, to make this happen. So I'm gonna try to head out to the track right now. The only problem is, is due to COVID, I'm not able to get the access we usually get. So um, to get an unobstructed shot is gonna be pretty challenging today. All right, so my last tip is to try and shoot with the lowest ISO possible. You may have to raise it up to get that shutter speed up, but in this case, you probably have some leeway. So get that ISO as low as you possibly can. All right, so if your camera has a high speed shooting mode, you definitely want to use it, okay? So um, what I'm talking about is, is to take your camera out of single shot mode. Have it into a continuous, continuous low, continuous high. And what that is, is when you hold down your shutter release button, your camera's just gonna start firing off photos and it's not gonna stop until you let go. All right guys, so that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for uh, coming along for the ride. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other ones, so be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. Thank you.